So this experiment is about light and the way it reflects and refracts and how when it's done through water, it can create rainbow. That's why on 4th of July, during the summer, when you reach into the pool to grab your quarter, you never can find it. Hmm, so tell me, what does it have to do with a rainbow? I'll tell you exactly what it does with a rainbow. All right. You see, when light is refracted through a prism, such as water, yeah. the different light waves bend at different frequencies, and that gives us the different colors. Mm -hmm. And as the water comes down, different light rays hit your eyes at different points. That's why um, violet light will hit you up here, whereas a raindrop down here will let you see red light. And it uh -huh. creates this bow. Nice. But I mean, we can't do that, right? We can't get a hose in here. No. I mean, we can't make a rain. We're not God. Okay. We're not Morgan Freeman. No, we're not. We are not. No. But I tell you what we can do. We can get a light from our phones and a bowl and two mirrors. What we're doing in this experiment is we're basically taking white light and bending it or refracting it in a way so that it reflects the colors of the rainbow, which happens when it rains. But the thing is, though, we can't ordinarily see it, and that's why we've positioned two mirrors. One mirror to actually bounce the light into the other mirror, and that mirror reflects it onto a white surface, this being a piece of paper that we've attached to a Vistas textbook. So guys, yeah, it's a bit faint. But there's the rainbow, and we're doing it by casting the light on the mirrors through the medium of water. Don't believe us. Think us if you think we're lying. There it is, and there's Mr. T. Leg. There we go. And there's Mr. Justin Harris. Oh, of course you got. We sure had fun, didn't we, guys? Yes. The rainbow on the ceiling. Now you can do that at home when you're with your girlfriend. Oh, wait. I forgot. Anyway, the rainbow works, and it proves that when light reflects and reflects through water droplets, it creates a spectrum, which, as the light comes down in the form of raindrops, hits your eye. We did the same thing, except the water, in our case, helped us bend the light into different mirrors, which, when reflected up at the ceiling or a white surface, we were able to demonstrate or show the rainbow. Thanks for spending this time with us. Bye. Bye.